All right, hey, this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another instant noodle cooking or recipe time. It originally was called instant noodle cooking time, but keywords and all recipes sounded a little more logical. Anyways, uh, I've done over 3,000 instant noodle reviews and garnished tons of them. And so the show is letting you see how I do what I do and letting you in on how to do it yourself. So. Today we have something actually from the freezer section. I don't know exactly what or honestly if I will garnish this all that much. This is called Beef Pho Vietnamese Style Beef and Noodle Bowl and it's from Blount Fine Foods of East of Here. I always forget where this place is from. Oh! And I always forget to do a shout out to this dude named Hunter who asked me to do a shout out and he's got like a bunch of names, but I remember Hunter. So there you go, dude. Hunter in Kentucky. What up? So shout out. Done. So this is a microwave only variety as far as I know. I don't remember seeing instructions on the other ones of these. I, I did a whole bunch of them for Meet the Manufacturer series. Actually, I want to say by a whole bunch, I mean two, three, I don't know. Anyways, big pouch of noodles, relatively large. Bowl of broth. So, you're probably wondering, how does this turn into noodles and soup? It's, it's really not that hard. <laughs> so, remove lid and film from bowl, no lid on there. Open the noodle packet and shake contents into broth bowl. Stir, place in microwave and cover loosely. Heat on high for two minutes, then stir again. Heat another minute and that's that. Warning, it'll be hot. That's fine with me. It's a microwave, I like hot food. So, but no, there are people who will be like, what do you mean it's hot? All I did was put it in a, in a microwave oven. What kind of ridiculous, what is this? What country are we in? How can it be hot? I cooked it. How dare it be? I'm, I'm calling your supervisor. No, it'll be, it'll be hot. That's fine. That's what we want, isn't it? Folks, at the end of the day, if you want... Like, I mean, there are cold noodles, but you don't generally... Pre well, I guess you could... Anyways, we'll just leave it at that. And Okay, and then you remove the lid, and then you open the noodle sachet, and you shake. It's an interesting concept. Probably that's how you loosen... The idea is to loosen the noodle. And that by doing that because I remember that was kind of tricky to do I remember also that the uh, lid was a little hard to take off in previous ones that I've had and this was absolutely nothing to it so hey, oops and I need to stir it stir it up right right Stir, place in the microwave, and cover loosely. Heat on high for two minutes. Okay. High in my microwave is pretty freaking high. Yeah, and it's hard to it's hard to stir at this point because it is a chilled noodle. It doesn't have a lot of give. But basically, what I like to do is at least get it kind of thinking of it's stirred. I don't know. Better if it's like submerged in liquid, that'll definitely get it happier quicker. Oh, Fork, why do you make things so difficult sometimes? Okay. And I don't know if I've had the issue with these bowls before, but generally when I. Yep, I'm standing. When, uh, and I was going to wear regular pants but 
I got these new pants and they're like really uncomfortable. The other pants I have, man, comfy pants, wow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, new pants, uh-uh, other new pants rather. So, all right, and now it's time to go to the microwave. Let's see if we can just like do this in a logical manner because I want you to be able to really take part in the uh, microwaving. Microwaving things is... Okay. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. I had a problem yesterday with one of the videos not going down correctly, as it were. Look at that microwave. Well, what does my microwave always smell like? Oatmeal, because I have oatmeal and peanut butter every freaking morning. So it's high on two minutes for the first spin. Here we go, covering it loosely with a paper towel. Putting it on a paper plate. And on high, engage. All right, so. Another day, another story of the ongoing computer saga. Um, so basically, it's at the repair place. I talked to the repair people. I'm like, you can't make it do it because it had a, a overheat error. They're like, no. I'm like, well, you guys have actually had it longer than I have. And they're like, oh man, that's, that's crummy. I'm like, can you just replace it? That would like make me feel way more at ease. You know, and they're like, no, you got to return it like two or three times for them to even consider that. And I'm like, well, I mean, if you were in my shoes, you know, I mean, I, I think I just want to return it. And it's like, I don't blame you. It's like, oh, yeah. So now I have a case number. It's a case. It's a real case. Case of pain in it. Yeah, but um, yeah, I have a case number. Wee. So they're like, how long have you had the computer? How long do I'm like, I personally have been in possession of it for six days, I think. Um, but yeah, I got it on the 6th of August and it's the 23rd today, I think. So yeah. Yeah. So hopefully what will happen is the computer will come back here in a box, which is just fine. And then their return service will send a box via FedEx for me to put the computer in, even though it'll already be in a box. I'm not going to take it out or nothing. And then, uh, yeah, send it back and get a refund because this is ridiculous. It's a bummer, too, because I really like HP computers. I don't know... I've just had really good luck with them. I'm kind of leery of going with something else because it's like, I don't know. There's a couple old school, really well-known places in the Seattle area. And I don't know if those are going to be options that will be like cheaper. Um, one would like to think so. But then there's the whole warranty thing. And peace of mind, you know, peace of mind. So it's been stirred, and now it's going for a last minute ride in the microwave. Would you like to ride in my microwave? So yeah, you can ride in my microwave. And I think um, mung bean sprouts and some coriander. Uh, maybe, I have no sriracha, do I? No, I don't believe so. I'm not one to keep a sauce around forever. That makes me like, go yuck. But, I do. I do have mung bean sprouts, which are good until the 26th. So these are good. And I have some 
coriander, which is probably just about absolutely on its last leg. And I have some jalapeno peppers, which when you get pho around here, that, that pho comes with jalapeno peppers. So, come on, where's the little, I just saw it, there it is. Embasa? Embasa. Sukasa. No, they're not fresh. Sorry, dude, who demands that they must be fresh. Um, I don't know if you're watching. There might be a, might be dude who demands they're fresh. Or not. So I am going to transfer this. If you follow me this way. Let's go over here. All right. So, junk out of the way. I'm going to transfer this to the pot because doing it in the pot is going to make it a lot easier for transferring it to the bowl. As I'm just kind of weird about that. Freaking hot. 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 And of course, oh, that smells pretty darn good. Of course, I have to do a tasting before I um, go any further. So this is something that you'll find in the Either fr I think in the frozen. You'll find it in your freezer section. I think that's what they say. I don't know where you'll find it in your freezer section. Um, you may consult. Look for the Blount Fine Foods website. I'm sure that's not too hard to find. They make other stuff too. I think they make clam chowder. And, and I, I, I absolutely love Clam chowder. Okay, the noodle. Okay. And so far as something that's been frozen, it's not bad. It's a pretty good pouch noodle. Now, what do we have here? Hey, knock it off over there. <laughs> no, I don't shove on the screen door, sir. Hmm. Looks like a piece of onion, perhaps? It's either onion or bell pepper. You know, there's celery. That's the beef. That beef is definitely good. Mushroom. Spring onion, I think. Um, this might be spinach. I'm unsure. This is definitely a large leaf, horizontally cut vegetable. And I'll just have a straight shot of the broth, just to be. Here's how it looks. So, what I'll say about this one is I, I like it. This is not what, if you really like pho and you go to pho restaurants all the time, this is not what you're gonna find at a pho restaurant, by any means. First off, these are not, oh, I should make sure, because I weirder things have happened, but, um. Come on, where is it? Yeah, these are wheat noodles. Wheat noodles, pho, 
Uh, they're usually rice. Um, that being said, however, the wheat noodles are good. They came out just fine, microwaved. Um, it's kind of neat today, too, because this is like the first... We've had all that horrible uh, smoke coming here from all the fires up in BC. And honestly, this is the first day that the smoke has kind of cleared a bit. And actually, the uh, they're reporting that the air quality is fair to good, which is, wow. So we actually have the door open for the deck, which is first time, I want to say, in two weeks, three weeks. I mean, it's just been horrible, horrible, stinky, smoky air. Kind of like you've got air coming around from, oh, I don't know, <laughs> a burning motel that's like 90 years old. <laughs> that's like down the street. Or it's like the air after an earthquake. That's what I rem it reminds me of. Very dusty, very like shaggy air. I say things and then I wonder how did I say that or come up with what I said. It's just like, sometimes I get a feeling. That's a feeling I get out of that. Shaggy air. And... Mm, let me put a couple of these on because it behooves me. I am behooving. Now, Miles likes spicy noodles, so he might actually go for a, a jalapeno ring. You want a jalapeno ring, Miles? Miles! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> All day, every day. He's a good kid. Anyways, so yeah, here we are. I wish I had some sriracha because that would make things look a lot nicer. I mean, I could like take some food coloring to some mayo, but now that I've said that, you know that's what I would be doing. So, yeah. Part of it is just how it looks, you know. So, all right. And speaking of, let's have another last look at. Uh, so, definitely edible, definitely good. Uh, the review will be coming s at some point. Uh, like I said, I'm like 80, where am I at? Today, after today, I'll be 80 reviews ahead. I've had so much work to do on YouTube videos that it's just been like, pfft. and then family coming up and all that. I've just been shrugging it off. And now I've got, Two top tens that'll be late. The uh, top ten USA list should have been out today, actually. That's this is the day it was out last year. So, technically, it should be out the Monday closest to that, to the 23rd, I guess. So, that would be, since it's Thursday, that would be Monday, next Monday. And <laughs> that ain't happening. There's no, no chance that'll be ready. Plus, I got top 10 Taiwan that I've got to get on. It's just, like, been a, a lot of stuff all at once. And it's bad in, in the respect that I can't get as much stuff done as I'd like to. But it's good in the respect that I'm doing a lot of cool stuff. So, But, yeah, I'm still getting these videos out. So, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, you can see more videos over here and that kid over there he he does videos right miles yeah so all right well this has been hans and miles wishing you enjoy me your noodles every day have a good one